Hundreds awaited the arrival of their fighting sons and daughters Monday. Husbands, fathers, wives, sisters, and brothers, their loved ones. I am here to see my husband's home. He's been in Afghanistan for nine months. Jennifer has been married to specialist Jared Bollinger for a year and a half. He's been deployed for more than half of their marriage. I, I haven't seen him since he's been gone. I've seen probably two pictures of him, but that's about it. It's been tough for the newlywed, but having her husband home safe in December is the only thing she wanted for Christmas. It's amazing, especially after Thanksgiving, knowing what it's like to have a holiday without him. I'm going to give him a really big hug and I'm probably going to cry a lot. It's the moment these families have been waiting for for nearly a year to be able to touch their soldier, hold them close, and tell them they are loved. Nothing else matters at this time. And then for Jennifer? Oh, relief, finally. I, I'm just like, I'm still shaking. Jennifer got her Christmas wish early this year, and now the newlyweds can go back to what married couples do at the holidays. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go to my family's, we're gonna go to her family's, do the whole, you know, check in with all the, as much family as possible, and then we're gonna come back to Colorado and just have some you and me time, so to speak. <laughs> John Martin, Fox 21 News.